Hey guys, this is Payesh from Vion.com and a couple of weeks back we did a video talking about how Windows 11 might be coming. And you know what? We were actually right. Yes, Windows 11 is indeed coming and in fact a full-blown Windows 11 build has leaked out. I'm not kidding. I have it installed here and I've been using it. So let's take a look at the next gen Windows, Windows 11. So the first change I noticed in Windows 11 is while setting it up. I'm talking about the whole setup process, which has a new font and a newer look inspired from Windows 10X. And I also noticed these new blue animations while Windows 11 is kind of setting things up in the background. And the best thing, the annoying Hi, I'm Cortana voice is gone from the setup. Anyway, this is the new Windows 11 home screen. And by the way, there's a new startup sound that goes like this. Yeah, that is cool. And you've probably noticed this cool wallpaper. Well, that's actually one of the new wallpapers that come with Windows 11. And I like that some new wallpapers also have a dark mode version, which is nice. Now you can download these new Windows 11 wallpapers from the link below, but do note that there's no wallpaper with the Windows or Microsoft logo right now. Now, apart from the wallpapers, the big change in Windows 11 is the new start menu, which is now located in the center, just like Windows 10X. And as you can see, it has the Microsoft logo. And well, the good news is, the live tiles are gone. Now live tiles had a love-hate relationship with most users and I personally never use them. So I'm just glad that they're gone. Anyway, so this is the new Windows 11 start menu, which has a focus on apps and files. On the top, you can see all the pinned apps in the start menu. And you can also right click to move apps to the top. Or, you know, you can just drag apps and move them around like this. As for the full apps list, it's available right here. Now below the apps are the recently opened files and then there's the user profile and the shutdown button. Now I personally like this new start menu inspired from the now dead Windows 10X, but I can understand if you don't like the fact that this is in the center of the taskbar, but you know what? You can actually move it to the left like the old days. The start menu is also customizable. You can turn on show most used apps and you can choose which folders appear in the start menu and they'll be available right here next to the shutdown button. Next up, Windows 11 Search is basically the same as Windows 10 and even though it has a dedicated icon and a new updated UI, you can still hit the start menu and just start typing to search. Then there's the task view button, but what's new is the widgets. Yes, Windows 11 brings widgets and this is how it looks like. As you can see, there's weather, stocks, scores, top stories, and then an endless list of articles. Now this is obviously a very early version of widgets in Windows 11. So I'm hoping to see more cool widget options in the official build. Now this is a very early build of Windows 11. So all of the native apps kind of remain the same, be it Edge, Microsoft Store, Settings Page, etc. But yeah, there are new icons everywhere. For example, here's the File Explorer, which has not gone through a revamp like I expected, but it does have the newer icons. I also noticed this floating flyout UI design for the start menu and the search. And there are also cool new animations. There's a cool animation on the icons in the taskbar, as you can see. I also like the new minimize animation. This looks cool, right? Now, apart from that, there are rounded corners everywhere, be it apps, context menus, notifications, other UI elements, basically everywhere. I also like that the search, task view, the widgets, all of these can be unpinned from the taskbar, unlike in Windows 10, where you can only hide them. Windows Snap is better too in Windows 11. Microsoft basically has brought fancy zones from Power Toys, if you've used it, into the OS with Windows 11. Now you can just hover over the Maximize button to get these different split view options. And this is available in every single app. And unlike Windows 10, as you can see, you now have more options than just your standard split view. This is a good addition because this actually makes Windows Snap way more user-friendly and actually usable. There's also a brand new ink workspace panel in the taskbar, which is not limited to just snip and sketch and whiteboard. You can now add more apps here to the pen menu. Now, apart from all of that, Windows 11 might also be removing a few things. For example, there's no tablet mode. There's also no timeline feature, which I'm okay with because who use that anyway. Overall, I like the UI changes that Windows 11 brings, be the new start menu, the taskbar changes, the new icons and animations. But you know what, this sleek build is clearly a very early build of Windows 11. And I'm personally still excited about the June 24 Microsoft event because that's when we'll see Windows 11 in all its glory. I mean, the final Windows 11 build will definitely have more features and, you know, more updates everywhere, be it native apps, things like the settings page and action center. 
there also be a ton of under the hood improvements that we don't know about. So yeah, I will wait for the full Windows 11 reveal before making a judgment. Anyway, if you want to try this Windows 11 build, it's wallpapers. Well, we have all the links in the description down below. So go ahead, check it out. Also give this video a like, make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos, including more videos on Windows 11. So yeah, stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.